my screen? I do. You can begin. We're at the top of the hour, so introduce yourself and, uh, and you can begin. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much. So welcome, everyone. Um, so we are going to uh, uh, cover the topic of Canadian project manage management uh, job market outlook. Uh, my name is Olivier Abekassis. I'm a PMP, ITLMP, uh, CBRM certified. Uh, so a little bit about me. Uh, let me share. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a vice president of a company, a firm uh, named IT Chapter. Um, we do uh, consulting training uh, in project management and uh, IT. And we have offices in uh, Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto, Vancouver, and Paris. I'm by myself a strategic consultant in uh, project and portfolio management, in IT service management, in uh, information security, cloud and uh, business relationship management. So th these are the practices which I'm in charge for. Uh, I have 25 years in IT, 12 as a project manager. Um, I'm by um, education and IT engineer, and I do um, have accreditation for training in PMP, BRM, ITIL, ISO 20000, TIPA, uh, which is in the domain of uh, processes, and Resilia, which is for cyber resilience. So as I mentioned before, I'm certified in uh, CBRM, uh, which means uh, Certified Business Relationship Management. I'm an ITIL management professional. I'm PMP, PRINCE2 uh, certified, COBIT in the domain of government governance. I'm a Six Sigma Black Belt. Resilia and ISO 27001 in the domain of information security. So I do have a couple of certifications, but I started my career um, in, um, in IT as a project manager working for Hewlett Packard uh, back in, uh, in France. And now I'm uh, in, uh, in Canada uh, for uh, 20 years uh, as a, a professional project manager and then a strategic consultant in, in the, the domains which I just mentioned. So I'm very glad to be here and um, I'm happy to share uh, uh, information with you about the um, uh, prospects of uh, project management uh, careers in Canada. So the topics that we are going to, uh, to cover are the following. So we are going to, to see what is the hype cycle for a project and portfolio management, which I will uh, abbreviate as a PPM. Um, we are going to uh, cover the, uh, the job market perspectives for project managers, um, as well as the, the, the Canada job market analysis uh, for uh, us project managers. Also, what are the salaries uh, currently um, um, distributed in Canada for our profession? And uh, um, when we are professionals, uh, if we want to be certified, what are the best certifications we should look uh, to develop our uh, PM career? So these are the, the five topics which I will want to, to cover today with you. So let's, uh, let's start right away, right away with the hype a cycle for a project and a portfolio management. So why I wanted to, uh, to share that with you is because we as professionals need to uh, project ourselves in the future. Of course, we want to, to surf um, a, a wave in our career right now, but we also want to project ourselves in the future and we want to know what's, what's now in demand and how do we position ourselves and what is going to be uh, uh, most, most likely most in demand in, in the future. So let's, let's take a look at this um, hype cycle. So this information is, is uh, provided um, by a Gartner and it's very recent, was published in 2020. And um, it, it shows us uh, where the, the, uh, the profession is, uh, is going and actually, um, uh, as we are going to uh, transition out of the uh, pandemic uh, situation, we are going to, um, to give a broader focus on, on um, um, more uh, the value optimization than really the cost optimization. And uh, from, uh, from an organizational uh, standpoint, we are looking for organizational stewardship and making sure that we are going to base our decision essentially on driving the, um, the strategic intent and making sure that our projects go towards that. Um, also from, um, from a digitalization standpoint, it's, it's, no, um, it's no longer a differentiator. It's, it's really an imperative, right? And we, we see, we, we live through it uh, at, at the very uh, present time. And uh, we want to, uh, to make sure that uh, we engage um, as project manager uh, into that uh, uh, digitalization uh, of the organization as a whole. 
And, and finally, um, uh, we want to, uh, to be sure that uh, um, our PPM disciplines and technology will enable um, the adaptability. And as we know, um, the uh, delivery uh, time is shortened. Uh, we, have, um, we are now in, uh, in very ch changing, changing fast uh, pace, changing environments, and we need to have the proper disciplines and technologies to, to be able to, to get to that. Now, what does it tell us uh, for, uh, from a professional standpoint? Well, if you see at the, at the left of the curve, um, we have the um, here, yeah. I suppose you see my, my mouse, we have here um, what is called uh, RPA, which stands for Robotic Process Automation Enabled PPM, as well as um, Artificial Intelligence uh, Enabled PPM. What does it tell us is that, of course, it's, it's, a, it's a long run, right? So the expectations are still low and it's an innovation. However, as we go up the curve, um, we start to see um, um, that the expectations are getting higher when we talk about strategic portfolio management or even PMO or PPM as a service where we give that, um, that uh, capability outside of to our organization. And then of course we have um, a strategy uh, realization office and, and so on. Then we see that uh, in the domain of agility, we have business agility that we have to take into account as project managers. Then uh, as we go down the curve where actually um, it was very much in demand and now we are getting to more, uh, let's say a, dis um, a disillusionment uh, standpoint where actually the, um, the hype is not uh, there so much. However, it doesn't mean that it's going to disappear. So for example, uh, enterprise, uh, um, a, a PMO is going to be also still in demand. Now the question is, are we going to uh, be able to embark there or are we going to, as we see on the right of the curve, uh, are we going to um, uh, more um, uh, surf on existing capabilities such as organizational change management, DevOps? Now, the question is, as professionals, we of course want to excel um, at the very uh, moment, uh, for example, by uh, uh, developing our uh, PM capabilities in the DevOps domain or as uh, uh, PMs uh, contributing to the organizational change management. But we have to think uh, for the future as well. And um, does it mean that uh, if I want to, to be at the top of my career in the next 10 years, maybe could be wise to start um, uh, documenting myself or even uh, developing my personal capabilities in the domain of RPA, uh, PPM, or AI enabled PPM, or even uh, PMO or PPM as a service, right? So, so this curve just doesn't tell us where to be, but it gives us an idea of where we want to be and where we should invest um, as professionals uh, for our uh, project management careers, right? So this information is, uh, is very useful, food for thoughts, and, but I wanted to, uh, to share with you uh, that, that information as an introduction to where we stand now and where we want to be, all right? So let's, uh, let's continue. Uh, now um, we are going to touch base on the uh, job market perspectives for uh, project managers. Um, here you, um, I wanted to, to share some information which I gathered uh, from, uh, especially from uh, Statistics Canada and from other uh, sources, where, um, what do we have? Um, first, the top trends um, are around agility and waterfall. So waterfall um, um, approach is uh, still valid, still in demand. It's gonna be uh, there. Um, um, we don't have to, uh, to um, discard it, a waterfall approach um, um, has to be um, or will be continuing uh, for our profession. However, there is a, a, um, a trend up for agile approach, meaning that um, as project managers, as professionals, we have to uh, be able to balance between both and a great uh, project manager in the more traditional waterfall approach uh, should also con be considering the agi agility in terms of development of its, his or her uh, skills. Now, um, the other information uh, which is relevant is by province. Where are the most um, project management job demands uh, in Canada? Well, actually, um, it's between Quebec, 
British Columbia and uh, Ontario. And I'm going to, to share with you the, uh, the figures uh, uh, later on, but so far, these are the three uh, most in demand provinces where uh, most of the uh, Canadian uh, project manager jobs are. Um, now, when we talk about uh, technical skills, um, the, uh, the employers um, are looking for um, uh, project managers with a computer science background. And that, that is important to understand that it doesn't only apply to IT uh, project management, but also to uh, business project management. And why is that? Well, because we know that um, uh, now in the industry, there is a convergence between business and IT. Think about the uh, uh, Ubers of the world, the uh, Airbnb, business and IT are now fusion. There is a fusion between business and IT. That's why um, as project managers, um, uh, employers expect uh, more and more computer science background or experience. Now, if we go uh, deeper into what kind of experience they're looking for, well, uh, if we are in the domain of development, of course, java.net, uh, but also um, knowledgeable about the security um, um, and not only uh, IT security, but the uh, behavioral security. Artificial intelligence is also uh, much in demand, uh, DevOps um, as well. And of course, anything which has to do around the cloud is, uh, is very much in demand. So we expect not the project manager to be a, an expert in that domain, but at least to understand what, what are the, uh, the uh, challenges around these um, uh, domains. Now, um, some, some tips, of course, uh, when, whenever we want to increase our career chances, we, we have to, and that has been also already pointed out by um, during this conference, we have to uh, start networking. We don't have to be in isolation. Uh, we used to network in person. Now we have to, uh, we can network online, but networking is key. Um, from a, from a curriculum vitae, from a resume standpoint, making sure that our CVs are crispy, that they are short. Uh, that we uh, also uh, can rehearse before getting to um, to our next um, uh, interview. Huh? That 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 is uh, that is key actually, and uh, I'm personally doing it uh, all the time with my uh, candidates whenever I present them to uh, to a client. Do the re do rehearse. Try to ask yourself uh, what are what are the typical questions that uh, that I will be asked. If you have PMP as a as a certification, make sure that you remember the uh, the different stages of the project. And uh, because you will be asked questions uh, at least to validate that you understood what you are, um, uh, what you are uh, claiming as being your certification and so on, right? Um, now, um, in terms of the, uh, the, the top three uh, industry in demand, um, evidently over the past uh, years and, and, and still very much now, especially in this uh, current situation, IT information and technology is the first one. Uh, right after uh, in Canada, it's uh, the financial sector. And, um, and uh, we have seen a big rise in the construction. Every PM job related to construction from being on site to the architecture firms uh, um, before and that, that is also a very much demand sector in 2019 uh, from a Canadian standpoint. Um, now, positions. Um, before the pandemic, um, contractual positions were on the rise and permanent positions were actually, uh, um, um, I, I wouldn't say um, uh, not, not stagnant, but actually they were uh, con consistent. But since the pandemic, uh, we've seen a, um, a change in the uh, positions, meaning that uh, contractual now is, uh, is uh, getting flattened and uh, permanent uh, uh, um, positions open for uh, permanent positions are on the rise. Um, I, I talked about the uh, technical skills before. Uh, we have the soft skills, uh, which are also in demand, and this is all around leadership and uh, inter interpersonal uh, uh, relationship, making sure that uh, you're not only a good technical uh, PM, but also that, that you're able to, uh, to discuss and do and build relationship with your teams and uh, your stakeholders. And finally, um, uh, on the education and training side, um, very um, a lot, actually the majority now of uh, project management uh, uh, positions ask for, uh, for a bachelor degree, especially uh, one in uh, science, so a bachelor uh, science degree. And from, um, from a certification standpoint, PMP is still very much in favor 
we see a Prince II uh, on the rise. Uh, it's coming from uh, Europe. It's very actually very popular in Europe, but it's also uh, starting to, to be uh, uh, popular in, here in Canada. And, um, and actually employers, they now start to ask either show me your PMP or show me your Prince II certification, but show me a, a certification. Uh, in agility domain, of course, Scrum Master is uh, very much on the rise, and uh, there is a new one coming actually from uh, from Europe. Um, uh, well, actually, very much popular now in Europe, but getting popularity, gaining popularity in Canada, which is Agile PM. All right. So this this gives you, um, I hope, a, a good picture of the uh, job market perspectives for uh, project managers. And now we are going to um, to to go a little bit uh, deeper into uh, what what it means for us as PMs in terms of um, uh, the analysis of that market. So from, um, from um, um, Canadian standpoint across the board, um, as you can see here, we have um, actually a very recent figure from uh, November 2020 about what are the um, amount of job, um, job openings across the different provinces. And, um, and this information is coming from Statistic Canada, um, and you can have the, uh, you see, uh, I put you the, um, uh, the link here on jobbank.gc.ca. Uh, you have to search for the uh, um, code 1221, which, uh, which is the code uh, for administrative officer where the non-technical project manager belong to. So this, the, the, the non-technical project manager belong into that category. And, um, and um, from that information, uh, first we derive that uh, the hourly rate of the uh, administrative officer category varies between $16 an hour to $26 uh, uh, an hour. And the non-technical project managers, as we will see um, after, are on the right-hand side of it. So the, uh, the 36 and more uh, hours, um, uh, $36 per hour and more for, uh, for our profession. Now, um, the demand uh, for the top three provinces. So if, first of all is Quebec. Uh, so Quebec represents 30%, so 40, 439 out of uh, 15, um, uh, I mean, 1,473 uh, job openings right now in, in Canada. So this represents 30% for uh, Quebec of the uh, overall PM job um, uh, market in Canada, then uh, British Columbia uh, for 27%, and then Ontario for 23%. So this is what is actually right now uh, available to uh, the, the job. Um, uh, I mean, this is these are the uh, PM position available right now uh, to Canadians. Uh, now, um, however, what is interesting is that the job prospect in the next three years is going to, uh, to uh, change according again to Statistic Canada. And um, as you can see here, um, it's gonna be uh, best or uh, good um, as rated by uh, Statistic Canada for uh, Quebec, for uh, New Brunswick, Nunavut and Saskatchewan. So these four provinces will have a better um, a job perspective than the others in the next three years. So I, I thought that would be interesting to, to share with you this information because depending on how flexible you are to work in another province, and that, that is right now uh, more and more possible because uh, most of us uh, are able to work uh, remotely, um, I will share with you a, 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 an example from my own firm. Um, I do have now consultant uh, uh, project managers uh, working um, from Vancouver and delivering a project in Ottawa, right? So the only, uh, the only constraint is the time difference, just need to, uh, to get up a little bit uh, earlier, uh, but that's it now. So the, the delivery can happen. We don't have to be now anymore physically into the province to be able to, uh, to deliver that project. All right, so that, that I thought would be, uh, would be uh, useful to share with you so that you can have an idea or um, uh, have some inspiration where you uh, can apply or uh, see your next uh, move in your, uh, in your project management uh, career. All right, now um, uh, another information which I wanted to share with you is the salaries. Um, the, um, and this information is coming from a very uh, useful site uh, called the glassdoor.ca and this information uh, uh, is from November, November 1st. 
Um, so the average day, the average pay for a project manager in Canada is a 20, uh, nine, uh, sorry, 82,000 uh, Canadian dollars. However, you, as you can see, the lowest is around the 50K and the more, uh, the best pay is around the 120K. Now, there are some variations depending on the job titles. Um, and, and titles are, um, are also important to um, position yourself within your organization, right? So as a project managers, Canadian project managers, if we have the title of IT project manager, as you can see, we can earn in average uh, $37 per hour. As a coordinator, a little bit less, uh, 26 as a project manager, 36. So maybe it's better to uh, think if you have the possibility to be in IT because IT looks like as a PM uh, earns a little bit more. Um, however, of course, and that's evident, if you uh, get a chance to have accumulated enough of years to become uh, um, and to um, claim the title of senior project manager, then your uh, uh, hourly salary is around 66 Canadian dollars. And uh, finally, as an assistant project manager, uh, you will earn an average in Canada $18, all right? So that gives you an idea uh, about, uh, of course, um, um, about where the, um, what are the uh, salary expectations that, that uh, project managers can get in Canada. And of course, um, and this is not, this is PMI saying, saying it to us, uh, but that's also valid for other, um, um, for other um, uh, certifications. Uh, those help to increase uh, our salary by from 3% to uh, even uh, 10%, all right? So, so we have to consider that. Now, also what I wanted to share with you, and this is also coming from uh, Glassdoor, um, is what are the best, um, the, the companies, the, the top five companies who are in average giving the best salaries uh, to their uh, project managers. So I've listed them here. Um, so, in average, uh, Suncor is uh, paying uh, their uh, PMs uh, $140,000 per year. Ontario Power Generation, uh, $146,000. Hydro One, uh, $127,000. ATCO Group, uh, $126,000. And the uh, Ontario Ministry of Safety and Correctional Services, $123,000. Now, what does it tell us? Uh, well, even though, um, I mean, you, you realize here that actually uh, four of the five are in the energy and uh, utility uh, sector. Um, so what is uh, interesting is that uh, from these figures compared to the one before, even though um, uh, IT and finance hire the most in Canada, the, the utility and energy sector are the one paying the best, right? So if you want a good uh, um, uh, um, high rate of, uh, of um, career, uh, you may uh, either consider one sector or the other uh, for being higher the IT sector, for having a better salary, the energy and uh, utility sector. Okay, so I, I thought this information also would be uh, useful for you and your career whenever you want to do the next move. And um, last but not least, as I mentioned before, um, certifications uh, do make a difference. Um, they, uh, they help us uh, getting better jobs. They uh, open us doors. They uh, give us, of course, some uh, methodology to be able to rely on. And uh, they validate um, that we took the um, the time and uh, that we took the the challenge to uh, to confirm uh, some uh, some um, experience and or some knowledge that we acquired and get it certified. Now um, on on the left hand side you have the list of um, uh, certifications that uh, are advised by CIO.com magazine uh, that was from December. Uh, um, last year, um, what are the um, uh, best certifications uh, from a project management standpoint that a CIO is looking for? Now, uh, pay attention, this information is coming from the US, 
And so they list here the, uh, the US ones. Doesn't mean that all of them are now known in Canada and I'm going to, to sort them, them out. But at least uh, you, you know that they are here from associated, associated project management to uh, uh, B, uh, VOP, Certified Project Manager, CAPM uh, uh, from PMI as a certifi Certified Associate in Project Management. Um, certified Project Director, CPMP, CPM, CSM as a Certified Scrum Master, the uh, CompTIA Project Plus, uh, well-known, uh, Master Project Manager, PRINCE2, uh, either Foundation or Practitioner, as I mentioned before, the Professional in Project Management, PPM, Project Management in IT Security, which is very much focused for, um, for the uh, IT security portion uh, from EC Consult, PMITS and the famous uh, project management professional PMP. Now, these are, as I mentioned, the, the most uh, looked for certification from a CIO or executive standpoint in the US. Now, what is, uh, what is more popular here in Canada? For sure, PMP. Um, definitively, uh, CSM from the Scrum Alliance. As I mentioned before, on the rise, the uh, Prince2 um, foundation or a practitioner, which is coming from uh, Axelos, which is in Europe, in UK, but not getting popularity in, uh, in Canada. Uh, uh, from a Scrum Master standpoint, um, of course, the most popular is the uh, CSM Scrum Alliance. However, you have also uh, Exin, Agile Scrum uh, Master, which is also gaining popularity. Uh, from an um, enterprise uh, standpoint, I mean, the, uh, the SAFE 5 uh, for SSM, which is also uh, gaining popularity and um, actually not getting popularity, very popular and al already established, especially uh, now uh, that it's going to uh, version 5. And uh, the, uh, the new kid on the block, which is the uh, Agile PM Foundation from APMG, uh, very popular in Europe and gaining popularity now in uh, in Canada um, as well, uh, just after the, uh, the US popularity. All right, so these are the, uh, fun the uh, different certifications that we could consider uh, that I would recommend uh, for your uh, project management career, which will help you uh, getting higher um, uh, opportunities or um, uh, helping you validating your experience um, as a project manager or a portfolio manager. All right, so that um, I would say would, uh, would cover what I wanted to, to share with you. Of course, um, uh, you can contact me uh, anytime. Uh, there will be um, uh, questions, uh, I suppose. Uh, you have here my coordinates. Uh, don't hesitate to go on, um, on our uh, LinkedIn um, uh, page uh, as IT Chapter. Follow us. We share uh, a lot of information with our uh, followers uh, around project management, but also around IT and service management. So we'll be happy to, um, to continue the discussion afterwards. All right, so that would conclude my uh, presentation on the uh, job um, project management um, uh, outlook. Is there, um, I suppose we can go to the, uh, the question. Um, yes, you have 15 minutes still for questions. All right. Okay. So I'm happy to, uh, to take any questions. If there is any, um, let me know. Am I supposed to see the questions or, um, or there is no um, questions per se? Uh, there was one in the chat window. Somebody said, what of PM jobs in Manitoba? Okay. Um, so PM jobs in Manitoba. Uh, let me see. From, um, if I go back to um, uh, the Statistic Canada, which I will try to... Um, yeah. So um, the best, the best would be uh, because I'm um, I'm right now not able to connect um, to Statistic Canada. But the best, the best is if uh, you contact me in person, I'll be able to give you the link and how to uh, go and uh, and um, uh, filter by. You can actually filter by uh, province or territory, or you can even filter by city. 
and then uh, they they give you the type of jobs that are currently uh, open. Now, how they compile this information is not 100% yet clear to me whether it's uh, jobs who are, I mean, PM jobs who are open in the government or that they collect also from uh, from the, um, the private sector, uh, that is not yet clear, but the Statistic Canada has this information and you can even go by city. Excellent. Uh, Olivier, if you open up the chat window, there's more questions appearing there. Okay, okay. so let me, uh, That's that might be a challenge for me because I don't see it. Yes, okay, chat. Oh yes, uh, which industry will be uh, the biggest need growth for PM in the next 10 years? Um, my, my guess and my bet actually, actually as a professional is, is, uh, is the IT, IT, anything which is related to, uh, to information and technology. Um, now, whether it be as a standalone industry or embedded into uh, that, that another industry, but let's say if you are a project manager and you want to bet on the um, IT wave, it's probably uh, where you should be. Where you should be. So I would go for um, the information and technology uh, uh, sector. Any, so thank you very much, uh, Theodore, for your question. Anyone else? Olivier, it's uh, Ingrid Harris. I have a question about applying to a financial sector positions, project manager. In most of the descriptions or requirements, they're looking for financial experience. And for an individual like myself, I've been in the public sector for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. And trying to go into a financial sector area, I... I haven't got <laughs> a lot of uptake, let me just say, of my resume to that sector. I'm just wondering if there's, a, you can speak to that. Um, I do have a background. I have a ba Bachelor of Science. Mm -hmm. I, I would, I'm a, a GIS profession. Um, I don't know if you know GIS, but uh, computer mapping, my background. Yep. I did work for Hydro One yep. and I, I've been working for a public sector. And I just, I'm trying to break into the financial sector just because I see a lot of positions and I'm actually transforming myself from a project manager to a change manager. And I'm just trying to figure out when an industry is looking particularly for a financial experience, it, is there a possibility for, for myself as an individual to transition to that area? Well, I, I, um, I can actually, I have a um, couple of um, examples in my surroundings, uh, either professional or, or uh, personal of people who, who transitioned, um, not, I mean, sometimes to financial, but to other sectors. The, the key here is um, to, well, go back to, uh, to study that domain, right? So, so for example, if you have a chance to, um, to go for um, a diploma uh, in that, in that uh, domain or to, um, to have a chance to go for a certification, that would help. And I've seen uh, successes in, in that, but for sure uh, you need to start somewhere. And, and, and the best is to go through, um, go back to, to study in the domain and then uh, from there get a traineeship or uh, get, uh, get to work on project with some, some banks or some, uh, some, someone in the financial sector. And then from there you build your network and then you apply and then you get that, that job. It might be a long shot though, or a middle, short, middle term shot, but that's, that's a way to do it. And I've seen and I've seen that, um, for example, I'll, I'll give you an example uh, very close to me, um, a, a PM, she, well, actually, uh, she was not a PM, she was um, an analyst, and uh, she wanted to transition to, to uh, as a PM in the telecom sector, well, went back to, uh, to school, to the university, uh, got, got a degree, and then, of course, uh, applied and, and succeeded as a PM afterwards. So, studying is key there in the domain. Does that answer your question? Mm, thank you, yes. Okay, good luck. Um, we do have other questions uh, regarding PMP and PRINCE2, or PGMP and PRINCE2, right. 
Um, so they, these certifications are very complementary to each other, right? Uh, um, um, let's say uh, PRINCE2, uh, either foundation or practitioner, is, uh, is vertical, so it goes by process, whereas PMP is transversal, right? So it's horizontal. Um, so I would say, um, however, uh, PRINCE2 certifications are faster to acquire than PMP or PGMP. So my, my take would be, to, I would recommend to, uh, to start with PRINCE2 practitioner or foundation and then practitioner, especially that now that it's gaining traction in Canada. Uh, and then of course, uh, go for the PMP and uh, or PGMP. I, I'm an early believer of uh, certifications. I took my PMP certification back in 2003. Uh, was one of the first um, PMP certified in Quebec. So um, yeah. Um, but these are very good certifications, either PRINCE2 or PMP for sure. Um, another question, uh, I'm hearing that the PMP is not enough. You need other certification to distinguish yourself. Yes, um, actually, um, actually PMP is, uh, um, is now becoming a standard, right? Um, uh, of course, uh, some people, you will hear some professionals saying, well, you know, I have enough of experience. I uh, don't need a PMP. Uh, however, uh, when, and I see that uh, amongst employers and from my also um, clients, whenever they have two equivalent CVs uh, with equivalent experience, uh, they will look at the one who has uh, this certification because now the, um, the decision makers they also have, uh, let's say, for example, the, the, the director of the PMO, he or she also already has either PMP or PGMP. So, um, so they will be looking for uh, people similar, right? So um, with a similar certifications. So PMP is, uh, is a must, um, but you can now go for Scrum Master, of course, to, to put some agility uh, skills in your um, uh, certification uh, box. Um, yes, um, some comments about, um, uh, yes, uh, the, the network, absolutely, uh, not, only, uh, not only the uh, uh, studies in the domain, if you want to switch to the financial sector or to another sector from the one that you are now, but building your network uh, one, one step at a time uh, is going to help. And, uh, and at some point you will hear um, some opportunities which will pop up and then you will be there. So the network is key. Um, I'm a big believer of networks and uh, you, can, you can develop networks uh, uh, online, right? So, and actually it's even easier. Uh, just ask, uh, just go to your LinkedIn um, uh, contacts and ask for virtual coffees. 20 minutes, uh, I mean, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, who doesn't have 15 minutes to, uh, to talk uh, about uh, uh, some, some common topics uh, and then uh, try to network, network from there. Uh, the PMP in the construction industry, yes. Um, in our um, uh, PMP uh, courses, uh, we, we still uh, have or see some uh, construction uh, project managers. Um, I would say it's not the majority. Now the majority is in IT, IT PMs, but uh, from time to time, um, I would say, um, uh, let's say uh, between five to 10% of the um, our students do come from construction industry, yeah. Uh, with PMP and CSM, is there any need to do a PMI ACP? Um, okay, my, uh, and I, I, um, my honest opinion with a PMP and CSM, you're, you're good. You don't need to add the PMI ACP. Uh, because you have, with PMP and CSM, you have both views, right? So you have the, uh, uh, waterfall view, you have the agile uh, view, and you're able to uh, to use either or or both um, uh, together whenever it's uh, necessary. So PMP and CSM, you're good. Any other questions which I could answer? Okay. Um um, if I'm looking at uh, taking more of um, agile projects, mm -hmm. you know, um, is a, a ACP not a requirement? Yeah, yeah, so, so absolutely. Well, um, for agile projects, uh, which, which, which is a trend now, 
Um, it's true, the SCP, the PMI SCP will, will help you. The other one, which I mentioned before, but it's not yet uh, given in Canada, but it's coming. It's the Agile PM. So PMI ACP, it's from Project Management Institute. Uh, Agile PM is from um, APMG International, uh, but it's pretty much similar. Um, and um, so I would say, is, is that going to make a difference for your next project? Maybe, but if you already have PMP and CSM, uh, you're already in a good shape, I think. But that's, that's my, my humble opinion. Olivia, it's Kevin Aguano here. Yep. Uh, I just wanted to point out for people that uh, there is already Agile PM certification in Canada and has been since 2009. Oh, okay, sorry for P that. P PMAC, our, our, our host of this event, runs something called the uh, Certified Agile PM Certification that okay. the PMI ACP was modeled after. In fact, oh, PMI okay. tried, to, tried to license or buy that certification at one point and make it their own and instead they developed their own. Okay. Um, but they're very similar and it takes a disciplined structured approach to Agile. So the estimating, the planning, the metrics, the forecasting, sort of the management side of Agile where the CSM largely just focuses on the team dynamics right. and driving the day-to-day -day work of the team. Right. So it's more of a project management certification than the CSM. Yes, and, okay, excellent, thank, thank you so much for that. And, and actually it's, it's, it, it, it's probably the, the the overarching bridge between the two disciplines, right? So, so that's uh, that's where uh, it, it makes sense. Now it is, and if people want to find out a bit more about it, at eleven o'clock in Track Two, there's a session called Canadian PM Specialty Certifications that will talk about that one as well. Excellent, excellent, very good. It was great. Thank you so much for that. So, um, so yes, certifications for sure will help. Uh, now we all know, huh? Um, uh, um, a certification doesn't make a good PM, right? But a good PM needs to have a certification just to show, all right? Okay, anything else? Right, IT certifications, right. So that, that, that um, um, I, I will not have enough time to talk about IT certifications, but uh, that's, that's my field of uh, interest, of course. Well, I would say the, 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 um, the first one is uh, IT service management. So it's ITIL uh, version four, that's the must. So ITIL four, and by the way, now in the, the beauty of this new version is that it integrates the practice of project management, DevOps and so on. So IT service management, if you want to, to go for that, this IT certification, uh, so ITIL version four foundation, and then of course the, um, the specialized level after that, that would be the way to go. Um, if you want to invest also in, uh, in the future uh, of security, um, I would also recommend uh, some IT certifications around security, but that's that's as a second step. Okay, so ITIL for foundation, that's the best, and it's it's brand new. It just got um, um, issued last year, so it has all the uh, the very recent practices. Uh, now, as, as, uh, as we talk about certifications, uh, as project managers, uh, you will be a lot in touch with uh, business units, right? So your business partners. You may consider uh, business relationship management, BRMP. Um, whenever you have to relate or be in relation with your uh, different uh, business partners or stakeholders, that one is, uh, is really good. It's more strategic, but if you are a project manager on the business side or more on the strategic portion, you, could, you may consider this one as well. So it's not IT, but it's more than the business relationship management standpoint. BRMP. All right. Very good. Okay, so thank you uh, very much, everyone. It was a pleasure to share that inform this information with you. Um, you have my coordinates. Don't hesitate to come back. I'm very uh, generous in information. I, 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 I like uh, my practice. Uh, I love my uh, 
my uh, job and my um, uh, I'm more than willing to share my expertise. So please do so. Contact me afterwards, and it's going to be a pleasure to continue um, the conversation. All right. Thank you so much. Merci. Merci. Goodbye.